Hi everyone. <laughs> I'm Isabella Di Nicola. I'm the oldest daughter of your new Democratic nominee. <laughs> I'm joined by my mom, Monica, my sisters, Sophia and Allie. Uh, let me just say that we're all pretty proud of Papa tonight. We, we know we wouldn't be here without all of your hard work and determination. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all that you've done in this campaign. So let's give you a, a round of applause. <laughs> My dad has been a fighter his whole life for the things he believes in. We have seen him achieve things that few thought were possible, but I believe, and I know you believe, that his best work is still ahead of him. So it's my privilege to introduce to you my dad, our candidate for Congress. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, a few moments ago, I had a very, very pleasant conversation uh, with Chris Rieger, who was a candidate for Congress in this race. Uh, and Chris uh, offered his congratulations uh, and his full support for our effort going forward, and I just want to say, yeah. and I just want to say that uh, uh, at, every, at every stop in the campaign trail that we had in the many counties of Pennsylvania, Monica and I had to spend with uh, Chris and Tracy, uh, uh, he impressed me with his, his commitment to our region, uh, his keen intellect, and his ability to communicate and I'm so very proud to have his support moving forward. Uh, congratulations, Chris, on a great campaign. I also want to recognize, and I don't know if he is here tonight, uh, but I want to recognize Brian Skibo. Is Brian in the house tonight? Hey, Brian. Do a shout out to Brian right back there. Brian was a was also a candidate. Uh, he has uh, background on Brian as he's undergone some extraordinary uh, personal health challenges over the last few years uh, that challenged his life. Uh, he overcame those and he has become a, a fierce advocate for universal health care yes. and his voice carries throughout the region and now the country. And uh, when I got into the race, uh, Brian uh, decided that he would end his candidacy, candidacy and support me. And Brian, that was the, the catalyst at the very beginning that gave us uh, the energy and the, and the spirit to go forward. Brian, I thank you very, very much. Uh, we're back at the, the Ted Dombrowski podium. I'm happy to be back at the Ted Dombrowski podium built by Ted with his own hands a great labor leader. I'm happy to be with you tonight. And as Isabella said, without you, we're not here. And because of you, we're moving forward in a race against Mike Kelly in November. At the core of this race, at the core of this race moving forward, is that Mike Kelly and I have a fundamentally different view of what the role of a member of Congress from the 16th District, Erie, Crawford, Mercer, Lawrence, and Butler County ought to be about what he ought to do, what he ought to know, and how he ought to proceed. We have a fundamentally different attitude about what that is. Mike Kelly's view is, is that he should give himself a personal pay raise in the form of a tax cut that will benefit him by tens of thousands of dollars over the next 10 years 
and will bankrupt the nation and saddle our children and our grandchildren with a trillion dollars of debt over the next 10 years. And that's not a policy that helps Western Pennsylvania. Mike Kelly doesn't believe that the federal government has any role in public education. That's not in the interests of Western Pennsylvania. Representative Kelly's view of democracy is he should pick his constituency rather than the other way around. Because what happens when it's the other way around is what happened tonight, which is that Erie is united and we now have an Erie County candidate in the race for Congress. So when Mike Kelly gets on TV and yells at a colleague, a female African-American colleague in Congress, talking about his car business, we know that he has put his interests ahead of the interests of the people of Western Pennsylvania, but he ought to be talking about his car business because we're gonna send him back to his car business after November. And so my, my message for Mike Kelly tonight is, if you won't use your power in Congress to protect the working families of Pennsylvania, step aside and I will. So we have a big fight ahead of us over the next six months. Uh, we're going against a campaign and a, and a coalition that has millions of dollars. Yeah. The millions of dollars are wrapped in a nice neat package that has my name on it. Yeah. <laughs> and they're going to do everything they can to separate us and divide us and to distract us from their record of self-dealing and not thinking out, not thinking for the working families of Western Pennsylvania. We're gonna to have to work extra hard. We're gonna to have to catch the early bus but that's what we've been doing as a region all of our lives. We've been building things that help make America great. We've been fueling the Industrial Revolution. Erie County helped win the wars, win the peace, make Pennsylvania a global power all over the world. We can do it again. Our, our cities and towns and hamlets are fighting for sustainability. We can answer their call by being smart and effective on how we implement policies that will be beneficial to creating jobs and creating hope and opportunity for our families. That's our pledge. It's as simple as that. Now somebody, I, I talked to a reporter earlier and he said, well, it's kind of an uphill battle, isn't it? I have never had any battles that weren't uphill. I, I don't know about you, uh, but they're all uphill. Uh, this battle was uphill. Every battle that we have is uphill. But if we're committed to the principles yeah. of protecting our families and doing what's right by the people that help build this country, the immigrants from Ireland and Germany and Italy, the, the African American migrants from the Southern United States who came here and settled here and built this community right. and sent their sons and daughters off to fight the wars, to win the peace yeah. for all of us. If we can do all of that, we can regain control over our future and our well-being of our children and giving them a future of hope and opportunity. So tonight, my pledge to you is to do everything in my power over the course of the next six months to get us across the finish line. Thank you, thank you very much. And I, again, we're not here without you tonight. The work is just beginning. The uphill climb is just beginning. But working together, I know we can do it. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you very, very much. Congratulations tonight. Thank you.